Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm an INTP. And in this video, I want to reference a previous video uh, which I created called On Creativity, um, On Education and Creativity. And so um, I shared this video with a friend of mine who is um, a classmate and on the same debate team as I. And they made some interesting objections to what I said. Well, not per se objections, but just some questions to what I said in so far as that they didn't necessarily agree that intel uh, that excuse me creativity was something that was impossible in a classroom setting. They felt that the um, lack of creative outcomes in an academic setting has more to do with the relationship between teachers and students and the metric of standardization and the need for a standard. Now she um, saw that you need a standardized system in order to uh, produce stable outcomes so that businesses and universities they don't have to do so much guesswork when admitting students into their programs or offering someone a job you in a capitalistic society you do need a metric and a standard so that things can be um, determined and choices can be made because in a western society metrics and standards they matter uh, because they help us predict things and to uh, better understand or at least feel like we have a better grasp or stability over um, our decisions and so um, I wanted to say on this that my thinking began to diverge even further on why don't I believe that um, you can uh, teach creativity in schools is because I find um, that I don't really believe in the educational system in general. Um, the educational system is uh, there's much talk in um, the Western world about reforming education, but um, to me, just uh, public education was a um, well-meaning and wonderful idea and has benefited many, and modern society wouldn't be what it is, and people wouldn't have the quality of life they do possess if, they, if the public educational system wasn't a thing. However, just what education can do is merely um, inundate and show procedural mandates. It can only dogmatize a person, at least is what I say. This is what I think about education as a system. Not education as in the educators held within the system, but education as a system can only inundate and it can only dogmatize. It can only sit there and create a framework of knowledge that is going to reproduce and disseminate across a um, spectrum of students. There's this idea, and um, part of it's inspired by Ken Robinson, that education is um, something that can be something beyond a uh, factory model. But I don't know if you would have the same um, type of system we have now. I don't even know if that would be public education. Or if you could consider it um, <clears throat> the same thing. If you can have as many students or if you can have in a, city, a square city radius the amount of students that attend um, a, high, a given high school or middle school in that sort of a system because to me it, it returns to something that uh, my classmate brought up in so far as that it has to do more so with the role of teachers in their interaction with students and um, their interaction with the students and the standards and um, to me education is a relationship quite honestly if you're going to um, teach somebody and that may surprise people coming from an INTP but I, I believe that the education process for um, any human being is one uh, in a, a relation, relational manner. It's um, people follow people. That's I think that's a, just an observation I've made that 
people don't listen to ideas, people listen to other people. It's people aren't particularly concerned with facts as much as they are concerned with other people and that's I think something that's indicative of the fact that we are human beings and we're social creatures so that education would just be this um, process of differentiation for the individual and uh, self-discovery but it's something of a process that happens through an another person which is a medium for that process and that uh, is something that is the teacher's role and um, teachers aren't merely an encyclopedia of knowledge and a, and a conduit for knowledge for the student or just a vat for somebody to um, drink from of uh, information that is one of their roles but they have a uh, personal and uh, social role to the community at large that I think is the means in which the education process happens um, because a lot of learning deals with motivation, at least so far as I've come to understand it, uh, or just observed. Um, it, there are just messy factors about what it means to be human. And, and what I mean is this, that we have a very rational-centric model, a materialistic model of the world. And we use that model to sit there and decide what we're going to do with people. But we don't realize that people are irrational and they're messy. They're not, uh, people are not things that you can simply standardize. And my friend Russell, who's um, an astro, who's a physics major and wants to do astrophysics, says all the time that it's, it's stupid to try and quantify people. Um, I don't necessarily agree with him in uh, the sentiment he's coming from when he says that, but I do acknowledge the point that people, they're they're complicated things and um, they're not totally rational you can't sit there and create a metric and a framework a system and um, expect it to work for all people the problem with education in in of itself is that it's uh, temporal it's time-based you sit there and you um, get kids in at four years old and you move them through a set of um, modules over time up till up until they're about 18 years old and you expect that process to go um, rather linearly and that's I notice that's an assumption within education and when we're creating remedial programs and um, <coughs> special needs programs and things like that it's that they don't treat uh, knowledge as a process or as something that's uh, emerging and organic in, it, in, in in its nature and I think that the whole foundation of education isn't based upon any um, suppositions that even fall in line with that with the possibility that that may not be the way to go that that is not what it means to be educated or that what uh, that's not what it means for someone to learn um, I it's this underlying um, belief that underpins uh, another belief that you can't teach creativity um, but it's just because I've went through public school and not all public schools are horrible I just didn't go through a great public school system and it's not to say all public school systems are like this but it's just that the fundamental um, assumptions and tenets that exist at the basis of what we conceptualize about education I believe are flawed because they don't ask questions about what it means to be human um, you want to do these things with people, but you don't even ask what that really means. You just assume uh, a sort of mechanistic model of the world, and it um, stems from all uh, enlightenment um, or pre-enlightenment and some post-enlightenment deistic thoughts that you have a um, dead universe and everything works like a machine, and people are essentially um, just... Uh, Sorry, excuse me. The people are just simply um, muscle spasms and um, electrical impulses. And do I believe? Do I have a quasi-deterministic view that is materialistically based? I certainly do. I think that there are limitations to choice. But do I, do I believe people are completely um, predictably, pre endlessly predictable and? Um, invariant in some ways, uh, I guess in some important ways that would say that 
you can sit there and do Pavlov's experiment with people and you'll get the same result from uh, from person to person and time to time and that everything is going to run smoothly through a transformative process with a person and that it's a linear thing. I know that was a lot to say, but it's to conceptual it's to hold the thought that the current conceptual framework we have for education, period. I don't mean in the sense that it needs to be revised, but that it needs to die and be born as something else. And we would have to con reconsider what we thought of schools and what the purpose and the point of schools were in the first place. Um, I don't know if that's because uh, I have only listened to Ken Robinson, Robinson's um, TED Talks, and so I don't really know what he... Uh, believes about education reform, but um, I certainly do think in my own thoughts and just my own experiences through education that um, people, they're, um, that the education system is not made for them. It has made fundamental assumptions that aren't true and are fairly dogmatic and have just not even been um, empirically validated. That's what's so odd ab uh, about some of these things. And um, but education, a long time, a, a long, quite a long time ago, proved to me that it's not uh, rationally or empirically based. Um, that it's uh, it's a scientism. It's not a. It doesn't have the same uh, lens or perspective as a uh, just one someone who sees uh, truth as something to be sought and, and science as a method, but n not someone who believes that they know things are existent because that just seems to be. Um, something that can be assumed. Um, I, I mean to say this, that materialism, it's a philosophy. That underpins education. Whether people realize it or not, that underpins um, uh, the way schools are set up. It, it believes that deism is, uh, deism is a philosophy, materialism is a philosophy, and it has uh, assumptions that are grounded and based in that. It, always, it also has tenets of humanism, um, embedded within um, this, the, uh, the makeup of education or public education as we understand it, and that's the only type of education I understand. Um, and it's somewhat in the universities, but not 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 as much. But it's just the um, foundation that it's built upon uh, to take something from the Bible is shifting sands. Um, they're not even empirically valid. I don't. Uh, see their assumptions and assumptions we've used to make um, a system that has been uh, has demonstrated itself to get uh, potent results but obviously is flawed and um, is anything going to be perfect no and I'm not a part I'm not a part of a people for a perfect society I'm not part of that club, and uh, I'm not somebody who believes in a, a utopian anything. But um, I, I'm just expressing my views on education and um, how these views influence how I think about what can be done in an educational environment, what can be done through public education. Thank you.